What is up guys, it's Brilliant Meister here and welcome to my loot from 10 hours of Corporeal Beast. Um, if you do enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified of all my future content. There's also a link to the Discord server in the description down below. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's get into the video. Right, so I've got all of the loot from the entire 10 hours of Corp in my inventory. I haven't actually price checked it yet because I didn't want to ruin it for myself. I wanted to kind of see it on there, but I can already tell that it's going to be a very decent amount. I got like 1500 Onyx Bolts, 30, 32,000 Cannonballs. That is a massive stack of Cannonballs. Um, then White Berries, Green Dehyde, 14 Regen Bracelets. That's quite a lot. I really did enjoy doing this whole 10 hours of corp, it's quite a nostalgic boss, did bring back lots of memories of going to like masses and stuff back in like 2010, 2011, and um, just hoping you got that like six, 700 mil uh, sigil drop then, they're not worth that now, and I didn't get one in the 10 hours, I didn't, didn't really expect to get one over the 10 hours, but you know, you could always hope, there was, with the amount of kills I got, just under a 1 in 10 chance I guess of getting one in the 10 hours, I think. 80 odd hours I think would be about the, the drop rate judging by the amount of kills I got but I won't ruin the amount of kills I got because that's for later in the video when I do the breakdown of everything but yeah another thing worth noting from Corp is the amount of charms you get is massive I have my charming imp to destroy green and gold so I would have got I imagine a fairly similar amount of them as well but like 1800 blue charms that's like 180 an hour um, I was doing it on this the like slayer and combat weekend, summer weekend thing that Jagex have done, so I was getting 14 charms rather than 13 charms per drop, but I mean, one charm is not going to make a massive amount of differences, but yeah, I got 1800 and 1500 nearly of uh, Crimsons, so uh, let's get into the uh, the price check. 46 mil, that is actually really good, considering I didn't get a sigil drop, which would have been like another 6 mil on top of that. Just from the standard drops alone, this is very consistent, 4.6 mil in pure loot an hour. Obviously there are some costs to uh, deduct out of that, like I was using um, Scrimshaw Vampirism and stuff like that, and like my charges on my um, Trim Masterwork and the uh, blah, blah, Mizuari. So there are a few costs to deduct, but still 4.6 mil an hour just in standard common loot, and this is like... You don't have to rely on RNG like you do with like Vindicta or something like that. You just purely get this, which is really, really good amount. 46.2 mil, that is amazing from 10 hours from Corp. So we're going to break it all down now and I'll go into how much I got per hour, per kill and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll see how it compares to the other bosses that I've done this with. So for the loot breakdown, over the 10 hours I killed 364 of Corporal Beast. Uh, averaging 36.4 kills now. I had a couple of hours where I did like 38 but then I also had a couple of hours where I didn't have Berserker or an Accuracy Aura active and I got a few less kills. Um, I put the approximate cost in there because I haven't worked out exactly but with the cost of a Scrimshaw plus a bit of degradation on my armour and a little bit of food and potion usage I'm going to put it at about 800k to 1 mil an hour which leaves the profit per hour to be 3.62 mil an hour which is actually pretty decent for such a chilled out quite easy boss. Um, and the loot per kill averaged out at 127k per kill, which is is actually not too bad considering that you do get quite a lot of the like mystic cloth and stuff like that, or U seeds, which are like 8k each. It's definitely all about the onyx bolts and the cannonballs, which really drag this up and make your average per hour really good. But they're fairly consistent drops; you really don't have to rely on much RNG to get them. So if we now compare it to some of the other bosses that I've done the loot from 10 hours from, the Corp is kind of sits nicely in the middle at the moment of Hellware and Vindicta. Uh, Hellware, I averaged more than double money per hour, but I got very, very lucky there, and I got five or six rare drops, and like 80 mil of the loot was in just rare drops alone within the 10 hour, which obviously led me to have a 432k per kill, which is absolutely ridiculous. I, I wouldn't expect to get anywhere near that if I did 10 hours there again. Um, but I did get the lowest kill rate there, I only got 20, 252, which is 25.2 an hour. Uh, Vindicta was the complete opposite to Hellware, I got very, very unlucky. And I only got 27.8 mil over 10 hours there, which is 2.78 mil an hour, and I did not get a single rare drop in the 10 hours. I've kept going back there since because I'm pretty sure I'm, oh, like, I'm definitely due on it, it owes me one, and I've still not got one, I'm up to 18 hours dry at Vindicta now. 
which is um, it's pretty bad, sad times. Um, so the average there was only 106k per kill. Compare that with the fact that it's also got a lower kill rate per hour than Corp. That's where Corp has got not quite double, but nearly double the amount of GP per hour. So it does fit nicely in the middle, and if nothing else, if you put Vindicta and Hellware both at sort of an average of probably about 6 mil an hour, if you did it for a much longer period of time, and all your RNG kind of like levels itself out, 4.6 mil from Corp is is actually fairly competitive for how easy this boss is. Like, there's no mechanics. All you have to do is click on it and attack it and use thresholds every now and then and use Quake or Hurricane to kill the core. That is literally all there is to it and it's so easy to bank, so quick. Um, so overall, I would definitely rate this as a boss that is worth doing. I do have a guide on it in my channel if you want to go check that out if you're interested in going to do Corp now. Um, I definitely would recommend it. Um, but that's pretty much it for this and uh, I'll see you next time Thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy the video Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and everything like that uh, any questions leave a comment down below um, Until next time see ya